what kind of thing? have two phases, right? We have our follicular phase, which is the phase where our follicle is growing an egg to be released for ovulation. In that period of our cycle, estrogen increases and increases to let that egg grow. Once estrogen peaks, we have a signal from our hypothalamus. It releases luteinizing hormone. That is a sign for us or our egg to be released. And that event of releasing an egg is ovulation. Now, the thing that we might not know is that the egg is actually only viable for 12 to 24 hours. And if it gets fertilized, then we can have a possible conception. But if it doesn't, that egg just gets reabsorbed. So our egg is only viable for 12 to 24 hours. But in that follicular phase, in the period where the estrogen is going up, that's where we also start to see cervical mucus. The cool thing about cervical mucus is that it actually has a lot of nutrients and minerals that keep sperm alive for five days. So if you are having sex on the cervical mucus days, let's say day one, that opens our peak fertility window. So actually we can get pregnant the minute we start seeing cervical mucus to the la like the 24 hours after that egg becomes obsolete. So our fertility window is usually five to seven days, depending on when a woman will see their cervical mucus. So ovulation happens. Once the egg is released, then we see an increase in progesterone. What lets us know we've ovulated is when we can see an increase in that basal body temperature. Progesterone increases our metabolism and that increase in metabolism seen through that sustained basal body temperature last until we have another period or last until a baby's born if we've conceived a baby. So why that's important between men and women is because let's say, I'm just going to use my example. Um, my husband and I, we lift weights. We're both in a weight gain phase right now trying to put on muscle because the more muscle mass we have, the healthier we are, the stronger our bone are, right? The, the stronger our bones are. So when he's gaining weight, his calories, maintenance calories don't change. When I'm trying to gain weight, my maintenance calories change after I ovulate because my metabolic rate has gone higher. So the minimum amount of calories I need to sustain my weight gets higher. And if I'm trying to eat at a certain calorie range, I actually need to go above that to gain weight that week. Does that make sense? That's interesting. I've never heard that before. Yeah. And so where we get into problems with that, especially stress uh, problems with women, is that when women are trying to lose weight and their calories are low and we see that bump in metabolism and our calories are still down here, there is this big lack of food and an increase in cortisol because our body's stressed because it's not getting the nutrients it needs. So that increase in cortisol is also going to increase insulin. You got it. <laughs> which is inflammatory. Yeah. And then, and then women might start seeing that they're not losing weight because their cortisol is so high because they're not meeting their basic metabolic needs. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this is part of the same metabolic syndrome too, right? They call it uh, hyperinsulinemia. Lots of yeah, insulin. high blood sugar. Yeah. Yeah. High blood sugar or being resistant to insulin. Same thing, right? When the body does not reabsorb um, the, the glucose because our cells stop responding to insulin. Okay. I've got a question a step back. Just one mm -hmm. step, one step back from where we're at right now. The, to the question of, you know, I asked if a woman's on birth control, can you still help her? Mm -hmm. I guess my new question is, do you need to cycle correctly in order to reverse this metabolic syndrome? Can they like say this woman, she doesn't want to get pregnant and she she just wants to get rid of the acne, mm -hmm. and, uh, maybe the, the mustache and maybe period pains or whatever. Can you work around birth control or is it just going to fundamentally impede her progress, whether she wants to get 